Hello student, in this video we will be learning about AM transmitter. Now in this topic we are going to be discussing about the AM transmitters, especially this is for ESC examination, might be there is a chance of asking objective question from that block diagram. Apart from this, this is not uh, needed for the, uh, just a theory concepts, not needed for gate exam. What is AM transmitters mean students? The transmitter work, a transmitter work not only performs modulation, but also rises the power level to a desired level for a effective radiation of the term, modulated signal. Coming to the AM transmitter, there are two types we are having. First one is low level. low level modulation the second one is students high level modulation i am giving the space also to write their block diagram one is low level another one is high level the name itself you are seeing here low power handling here high power handling we know about it what is the main differences between this low level modulation as well as high level modulation high level modulation is I will write you the block diagram, then you will get the clarity over that because starting will be <coughs> same. Sorry. So, what is the first one we are having is students master oscillator. If about each and every block, I will explain you. Wait. Coming to the master oscillator means MO, it is common in both. Here also, master oscillator. After that, we are having buffer amplifier. We are also the same, we are having buffer amplifier. What is the significance of each and everything? I will discuss it. After the buffer amplifier, we are having harmonic generator. Called HG. Here also, we are having harmonic generator. Now the difference comes here, for after the harmonic generator, here we are having modulated class C amplifier, of course power amplifier only. Now here the modulation is going on, so from here carrier is coming, another one is from the, the message signal we have to give, that is modulating amplifier, coming to this modulating amplifier, either class A or B we will use. For this one, we are giving the message signal or modulating signal. So here modulation will be done. After modulation, we are giving to class B tuned power amplifier. Class B tuned power amplifier and then feeder this transmission line is called feeder as well as matching networks for matching of impedance and then given to the transmitting antenna. 
and then given to the transmitting antenna. This is the low level modulation. Coming to high level, see the difference. Before going for modulation, what we are doing is student, this carrier is given to maybe one or two or more stages. Here that is given to class C power amplifier. Here, maybe multi stage we are using. So, it will increase the carrier to a desired high power. And then we are given to modulation. So, modulated class C power amplifier. Character modulation is used. And for this one, we need to give message that is from modulating amplifier, either class A or B we are using, here message is given. And then feeder in a network circuit and then given to the transmitting antenna. This is feeder as well as matching network circuit, feeder and matching network circuit and everything is same. What is the difference sir? What is the difference is students try to understand here why low level, why we are calling high level, up to here the both are same. Here what we are doing is first we are modulating and then we are using class B because of the less efficiency of the less efficiency, less gain of the class B, we will get some low power level only. Now you will get the doubt, sir, why you are using class B, sir? Directly you can use class C here also, you can go for higher power level now. Why you are using class B and you are saying it is a low power level? Listen, class C, I cannot use here student. Why? Because class C power amplifier is a narrow band amplifier. Once if you modulate, it will have carrier component, side bands also, it will have some bandwidth. Are you understand my point? It is having some bandwidth means where class C is a narrow band amplifier, it cannot amplify all our side bands. So that's why I cannot use here class C. So class B only. So, to eliminate that problem, we are going to the high level, where in the high level, see the logic. First, what we are doing is, we are amplifying the carrier to a high level of our desired thing by using a multi-stage class C amplifiers. And then, because I can make here, why? Because carrier means single frequency. Single frequency means narrow band only. Narrow band means I can amplify to a higher levels, no problem. And then I am modulating it. Directly I am giving to the fader and the matching circuits and then to the transmitting antenna. Are you got my logic or not? After modulation, I cannot use class C. So before itself, I am increasing the, the power level of a carrier signal and then I am doing the modulation. Coming to this modulating amplifiers means say the class A or B we will use. <clears throat> Coming to the each and every block analysis. I think you got the difference. Coming to the each and every block analysis, the first one is the master oscillator. That's the most important thing. What is this master oscillator will do? It will generate the carrier frequency. The first point you need to understand in the master oscillator is a student. Generally, master oscillator will generate a fraction of the total carrier frequency. What is the reason? I will tell you first. I will tell you later first. What is the meaning of fraction? Suppose, if you want to generate a carrier signal of 1 mega H, finally you want 1 mega H, but directly you cannot generate 1 mega H, a fraction of this, for example, 250 kilo I will generate. Now, rather than generating directly 1 mega H, I am generating 250K, and given to the harmonic generator, it will multiply the input frequencies, so, if the fourth time of fourth harmonic of 250 is 1 mega H, you will get the final value of 1 mega H. 
What is the intention of doing like that? Because generally crystal oscillator we are using. Crystal oscillator designing and its characteristics are stable. If you design for 250K, when compared to, when compared to 1 mega H. So that's why we are doing like that. So that's why we are doing like that. Are you understand my point? Now, this should be a stable one. If it is not stable, then if you are trying for 250, it is generating something else means other stations also interference will be there because number of stations are there. And the receiver side also it should be stable. Otherwise, other stations receiving also will be there. What are the reasons of varying this carrier frequency in this uh, master oscillator is the first point frequency drift. What is it called? Frequency drift. What is the frequency drift? Drift means the slow variation. The slow variation in the carrier frequency because of temperature as well as aging, aging of the components. And this drift in the this drift in the medium wave will be uh, within plus or minus 20 H, no problem. In short wave and UHF will be 0.002 percent of the carrier frequency, also no problem. In the medium wave, plus or minus 20 H. Short wave or UHF, 0.2002 percent of the carrier frequency also, no problem. So here, that's the one reason. The second one is the frequency scintillization. What is the second one? Frequency scintillization. What is the frequency scintillization, sir? There is an abrupt change in the master oscillator frequency because of the loading effect. Because of the loading effect, there is a sudden change in the load because of the load current, the mass loss of frequency suddenly varies. So to avoid that itself, we are using the buffer amplifiers, where the buffer amplifiers will have high input impedance. So any load variations also does not make any change. So we are isolating that. These are the two reasons why the mass loss rate frequency is varying. So what is the precautions or what is the Measures, not only precautions, what is the measures we have to take in designing the master oscillator? In designing the master oscillator, what is the precautions we have to take? The first point is students, we have to keep the master oscillator in a stable, uh, in a constant temperature chamber. If you keep in a constant temperature chamber, obviously there is no, obviously there is no changes in the temperature. The second point is, the second point is you need to take care, we have to give a stable power supply. For that mass loss later, the power supply should not vary. We have to give a stable power supply. And the third point is, the active devices in the master oscillator should have a high ratio of GM by C. GM means mutual transconductance. C is the capacitance of the, C is called capacitance of the device. Next point is, master oscillator should have to generate a fraction of the, the total carrier frequency only. As well as, we need to keep the buffer amplifier after the master, master oscillator to isolate this master oscillator from the remaining circuit to affect the loading things. That is about the all three points you will get in the notes. So these are the points you need to take care about the master oscillator. Coming to the second one, of course, buffer amplifier. I given already the brief introduction. What is the buffer amplifier means? Buffer amplifier should have a high input impedance, high input impedance, and its work is if any loading changes, if any load current changes or any loading effect, it does not affect the master oscillator. So what is the things? It should not come here. So it should have a high input impedance. Generally, harmonic generator itself we are using as a buffer amplifier. Harmonic generator itself we are using buffer amplifier. Why? Because for a harmonic generator, generally it will have input impedance is high. And what is the input side tuning is different? Output side tuning is different. Input side it is tuning to the master oscillator frequency. 
output we are taking the harmonics of that so both are different different frequencies so if any current overflow here that I hear obviously input side it will be very low because both are tuning at a different different rate different different frequencies what is this harmonic generator we are using is class C power amplifier means an harmonic generator operation is similar to a non-linear device I told the input output relation of a non-linear device number of times output V naught equal to A1 into V1 plus A2 into V1 square plus A3 into V1 cube like and so on the non-linear device will have a harmonic components here we will use class C there is a logic is there the current in the class C power amplifier is a pulses rectangular pulses for the pulses means if we analyze the Fourier analysis for the rectangular pulses we will have a for the Fourier analysis all harmonics also will be there based on our requirement for example here 250 our requirement is 1 mega so we'll, we will select the fourth harmonic depending upon that we are designing the tuned circuit next this will be modulated class C amplifier and modulating means we are using either class A or class B coming to here in high power we are using collector modulation we are using that. and as normally you know class B power amplifier to increase the desired power level and here also before itself we are doing mod uh, we are we are amplifying the signal to a we are amplifying the carrier signal to a desired power level and a fader and matching circuits means generally there is a from this transmitter to antenna obviously there is a distance will be there as well as this transmitter you need to perfectly match to the antenna so we are using a transmission line between them so the transmission line should be match to input side this transmitter and output side to the transmitting antenna that itself is called feeder here also the same thing are you understanding my point or not and as well as another thing is neutralization also needed why we need the neutralization in the transmitter is if any unwanted oscillations are generated by inter electrode capacitances that has to be nullified so we are also using neutralization this is the brief view about the am transmitter which is high level and low level clear all are theory points only see the next problem this is on the am transmitter for showing a model of question i taken in a low level modulation am system the amplifiers following the modulated stage can be amplifiers following the modulated stage you can see the modulated stage in the module after the modulated stage that is a class c amplifier is you we are using after that what we are using we cannot use a class c we'll use class b tuned amplifier i already given the reason also so after the modulated stage class b tuned amplifier are you got my point so these type of questions they will ask from that block diagram 